There's another, uh, another antenna at the high power AM broadcast site. It's a uh, vertical steel cable. You can probably see that, uh, that insulator at the bottom there. There's an insulator there. And there's the feed point going up there to the uh, feed through insulator on the, uh, on the tuning house. And that, uh, that antenna is a vertical steel cable. It goes up, 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 up. Where it's connected to a wire that goes across the top. And it's supported at each end by a lattice mast. So over here, yep, there's another one there. There you go, so that's the T antenna. You can see the insulators. Oops. There you go. That's the insulator. Insulating the wire from the guy wire that holds it to the tower. And we've got the same at the other end. There's another insulator there and the wire going off to the tower. Then coming back to the centre point, it's just connected there as a T. It comes all the way down to there. It's another medium wave, uh, another medium wave antenna. So there we go. And there's the Alex Armisen uh, antenna, side view, with the uh, with the two self-supporting towers. And in the foreground is uh, that other little uh, sort of umbrella loaded, for want of a better term, antenna with the uh, with the wires connected to the top of the tower. I can't tell if that's focusing properly, but uh, yeah, the Alexanderson antenna from way back in 1926. Okay, hope you found that interesting. Catch you next time.